Hi guys, I wanted to uh, bring to your attention today the oldest trick in the book uh, as practiced by Christians all the time. Um, very often you'll be having a discussion with a, with a theist, uh, it is mostly Christians who do it, and, um, and they'll say something like, um, oh well so and so was a, oh actually Muslims do this quite a lot as well, they say so and so was an atheist but now they're a Christian, or so and so was a Christian but now they're a Muslim, and, and, and they get all smug and happy when they make this statement as if they've made some fantastic gotcha knockout point. And um, you know it's a fail on so many re on so many levels, uh, but let me just explain first of all. It, I mean, it's, first of all, it's just an appeal to popular uh, an appeal to authority because because you know if if um, if the king of England used to be an atheist and now they're a Christian, you, the implication is that that person has become a Christian because they're so convinced by the weight of evidence. And the, the fact might well be that they've made an, ir an emotionally irrational decision and, and their position of King of England doesn't stop that. It doesn't mean they're smarter, you know. But even let's just say, say Stephen Hawking stopped, become, stopped being an atheist and, and became a Christian. Would that mean that Christianity was any more compelling? No, no. What, what I would do is I would try and find out what evidence it was that Stephen Hawking found so compelling and, and study it because, it, you know, who knows, maybe he did find something that we missed. Uh, and, and his intelligence would, would lead me to want to pursue what he saw more more closely. But, you know, I mean, the, the, the guy who was on the um, Human Genome Project, who, whose name I can't remember, I mean, his his decision to become a Christian was completely rational. He, he, he looked at, he looked at you know, three fountains or three three icicles or whatever, according to the story, and uh, he saw that as representing the Trinity and converted. Well, that's not a rational decision. That's not evidentiary. That's, that's based on, on stupid mumbo-jumbo voodoo. So, so when you say to me, uh, Collins, his name was, um, when, when you say to me, uh, um, so and so was a Christian, but uh, was an atheist, but now they're a Christian, that carries no weight. And 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 even you know, if you did that with a thousand people, then all that becomes is an ad populum argument. You're saying, well, because there are lots of people who do that thing, it must mean it's more right. Well, you know, what if you had applied that to the first person who who discovered that uh, the the um, the Earth rotated around the sun? You know, oh, well, because everybody thinks that the sun rotates around the earth, you must be an idiot. Oh, oh well, actually, we're all the idiots, you know. So, so again, that, that argument completely fails. But I just wanted to draw your attention to, um, it may, may not be the first recorded instance, but, but a, a really good recorded instance. Um, in the Bible, the tale of Saul. You know, the, the tale is told that Saul, Saul had a hard heart. I can't remember the exact words of it. But, but Saul had a hard heart. He persecuted the Christians. And then on the road to Damascus, he had this conversion experience. Oh, my goodness. Well, he must be true then because, you know, he's seen the light. It's so much more weighty when he does it. And you will have seen this flim flam trick, this P.T. Barnum kind of presentation trick. If you've ever watched any supernatural show on TV like Unexplained or... Um, um, ghost hunters or any of that kind of crap. They do that all the time, you know, that, that they'll, they'll have like some supernatural event and then they'll have the people who are the usual idiots who just believe it just because they instantly believe it. And then near the end you'll have, um, and I've even seen this used on fishing shows actually, it's a ridiculous, but it's so, such a ubiquitous trick to use. And near the end you'll have the interview with a guy and he'll say, I never believed in ghosts, I was the biggest skeptic ever, but now, you know, a sheep wafted in the back garden, and I'm convinced. You know, and um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't add weight. You know, human experience doesn't add weight to an argument. Facts adds weight to an argument. Evidence adds weight to an argument. Just because somebody else is deluded as well, just because just because lots of people are willing to be superstitious. It, 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 I was speaking to my friend Pete yesterday, and he said um um people have a need for superstition for for mystery in life, um, which I I, I suspect is probably um, true. Uh, not that we have a need, but we, we're drawn to the magical because because it somehow carries more weight because it's mysterious. You know, it's a, it, it's kind of the arrogance that if it's outside our experience and we can't comprehend it, it, it must be more it must be more special. And it's not more special. It's more interesting. But it's you know it it, it you know it, it's not intrinsically more valuable because it's supernatural. In inverted commas, I don't believe there's anything such as supernatural. It's just natural that we haven't discovered yet. So you know, just just be aware that when when people use this crap on you, Muslims do this all the time. Actually, now I think about it, they'll say, "Oh well, um, so and so was a Christian, but now they've converted over to Islam." 
it's like so what you're basically saying to me is so and so believed one fantasy story and now they're gullible enough to believe another i mean all you've just done to me it's like it's like saying so and so was a child abuser and now he beats up his wife it's like wow well how surprising that is you know that he was already an idiot an arsehole and now he's an arsehole of a different sort as well so just be aware of that when you see it guys and and just see uh, just just understand how little weight that argument actually carries you take care Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take the time to rate and comment and it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Thank you.